You can't destroy football posts, but you can knock them down with your car. I don't believe that. Like, this doesn't make sense. If this doesn't knock down the post, there is no way my car is knocking this down. All right, let's blow them up. Seriously? It didn't go down? What? But then if I get in my car and drive into this, is it actually gonna fall down? I don't believe- Are you kidding me? What? That was so <laughs> easy. Seriously? I must be able to destroy this thing now. I mean, it's literally- what? Oh my days, that doesn't make any sense. So, myth success? <laughs> In the back of these stores is a safe. And if you rob the safe, you get like 10 times more money than you would if you were to steal from the store. Okay, so is the safe actually there? No way it is. All right, let's blow this thing up. One, two, three. How many stickies does it take to blow up a safe? Gotta get the corners too, make sure they're covered. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's blow these up. And I think that literally destroyed my game. <laughs> Didn't open up though, seriously? All right, myth busted. Today we're busting 70 myths in GTA 5. Hit like if you enjoy and let's keep going. There's a secret phone number you can call which literally kills you when you phone it. 305-555. No way is this actually gonna kill me, dude. <laughs> I'm so nervous. You hear that? Sound like someone just picked up and put it down again. All right, maybe we don't die. Myth busted? That was really spooky. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. If you press like on this video, something will happen to the video. Give it a go and let me know if it actually works. You'll have to tell me in the comments. <laughs> if you punch a gas canister with your gun, it sets you on fire. I'm not even kidding. I think this might actually work. Oh my days, it does. Are you kidding me? It just killed me! If you type the cheat floater, then you get to activate moon gravity. And everything you do from then on <laughs> is complete moon gravity. Check this out. I'm gonna jump out my car. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, Franklin, watch out there, buddy. We're on the moon! With moon gravity, it takes, like, so long to fall from buildings. <laughs> no! Oh, come on! Going down, everyone. Do you reckon I'll survive this? Oh, I'm gonna land on her. I'm gonna land on Oh, oh, oh. that was close. I survived! No way! You can view computer history of characters in GTA a5. This is Tracy's laptop, and I'm gonna take a look at what she was looking at. Let's see. Browse the internet. All right. Anything there? History? Okay. No history on Tracy's. Just the homepage. What about Jimmy? Jimmy is always on his computer. There is no way there's no history in there. Let's take a look. Jimmy, what were you doing, buddy? Oh, seriously? Nothing? All right. Well, that myth is busted. You can't see computer history. You can see a really old version of the map by looking at the subway station. So, this is the Los Santos map, and wow. There's no roads for the airport, and that looks so strange. This is like a complete early version of GTA 5. That's so cool. And you can see an even earlier version of the map by holding one of the leaflets. And this looks so strange. The military base there, the Lamo Seas there, Mount Chiliad, it's like the whole map in 3D, but there's so much missing. That's so weird. Los Santos is so much bigger. You can sneak into the military base without getting caught. There is a guard standing right there, and there's only one way to sneak inside this base. And you gotta do it this way. Take the wall across slowly. I think you can jump on this, and then you can just sneak straight in. Now, this is how you sneak in the base, because check it out, guys. No one knows I'm in here. Let me just see what happens if I go out of this lane. Oh, my days, there's a tank there. Oh, no, I got four stars. Run! Run, Franklin, run! <laughs> there's a balloon outside Simeon's store, and you can move this thing with your gun. It's completely, like, easy to move. Just, like, drag the gun across, and you can move this thing as if it was a real balloon. Oh, my days, I'm gonna drag this down to the ground. And if you shoot this with an RPG, it completely bugs out. See? <laughs> it's a balloon. You can drive into the military base with a tank and not get caught. Hello, mister. It's, uh, it's me. <laughs> He's coming out. All right, let's just go in. I reckon we're allowed inside. Let's see. Seriously? I got four stars? Oh, man. All right, guys. Tanks will not let you in the military base without a one to level. Myth busted. That sucks. There is a book in Franklin's house written by John Marston from Red Dead Redemption 2. It's on this shelf somewhere and, uh, oh, there it is. Red Dead by Jay Marston. He's literally the main character from the Red Dead series. Guys, check this out. If you bump into these golfers, you literally break the entire game. Okay, I think he's about to take a shot on that ball. Let's just bump into him. All right, there we go. Bumped into him. <laughs> Is he gonna do it? Seriously? What? <laughs> he still hit the ball. That doesn't make sense. All right, let's do it again. All right, you're gonna go over there this time. <laughs> He's gonna go for it again. No way. Seriously? How does that work? Guys, I've broken the game. You can break the inflatable balloon with just an axe. We gotta hit the balloon. No, not the pokes. We gotta go for the balloon. <laughs> All right, nice. Come on, come on. We gotta get this guy down. Seriously? Oh, jeez, guys. I don't think it's working. What if I try this? This is not working. All right, inflatable balloon has won. <laughs> Busted. You can hit yourself with a Molotov. If we just throw this and then slow down time and run. Oh, this is gonna be really tricky, actually. Oh, my days. How are we gonna do this, Michael? 
Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, what if we throw this really, really high? Alright, nice. Run, 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 run. Oh, jeez. This is gonna be really hard, actually. Okay, here goes nothing. Throw the Molotov and then run. I've got super run on this time, so... <laughs> Fingers crossed this actually works. Oh, where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Where's it gonna land? Is it gonna land on me? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, God, my days. You can. You can kill yourself with your own Molotov. Seriously? I've replaced the police cars with ordinary pedestrian vehicles. I've heard that when you get a wanted level, the police will take the cars or pedestrians. So let's see if they actually do. All right, here we go. I got three stars. There's helicopters in the sky. Okay, there's some cops over there. They're running back to the station. They might take one of the rides. I honestly don't know. There's some people on the sidewalk. They don't seem to be taking the rides. There's police outside the station and they're not taking the cars either. Why aren't they taking the cars? This is really strange. I thought they would. Okay, I'm gonna make it easier for them. Let's just leave this car on the sidewalk. Come on, officers. It's your ride if you want it. Go get the ride. There's so many officers there. There is no way they're not gonna take a car. Hang on a second. He is! No way! <laughs> they do take pedestrian cars. Seriously? Did you see that, guys? He got inside the vehicle. And then check this out. There is a police officer in there. Wow. All right, this myth actually works. You, police officers will take random vehicles. If you point a gun at a taxi driver, they won't react. <laughs> I don't believe this. What? Seriously? They don't react? <laughs> That doesn't make any sense. What happens if I point a gun at the guy behind him? Oh, oh boy. Okay, he doesn't like that. <laughs> Everyone's like speeding off away from me. No, they don't want any of that. This guy's just chill. If you shoot the taxi driver, you can get in the passenger seat. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Hey, uh, I love the taxi, buddy. Oh my days. What? This is so strange. Why are taxi drivers so weird? <laughs> they don't make any sense. Can I control the radio? I can. Seriously? Wow. Oh my days. Tough day at work, buddy. Yeah. Like, you see this person here? Watch this. All right, there we go. Oh, jeez. Oh my days. Don't run me over. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and then if I try and get in, there is no way I can just get in the passenger seat. Like, yeah, we kick him out. <laughs> Why don't taxi drivers do this? You can use your phone when you're swimming in the water. Oh my days. You can. What? <laughs> I'm not even holding my phone. I can see my hands. Can I actually, like, cool people with this? Can I get a taxi, please? <laughs> oh no, they're busy. All right, doesn't matter. Can't get a taxi. Well, that's a successful myth. I don't don't understand how. You can tow any vehicle into your garage. I don't believe this works, but let's just see if it does. All right, I'm going inside the garage. Wait, hang on a second. No way. <laughs> oh boy, it's on fire. That's not good. Franklin, we better run. <laughs> this is gonna be insane. Oh wow, you can tow the car out of your garage too? <laughs> I've broken my game. I've, I can't. I can't do anything. If you drag a dead body to a police officer, they will arrest you. They have to. <laughs> this guy is literally done. All right, is the officer still there? They got to arrest me. There is no way they're not arresting me, dude. I think this is so obvious. Let's put this guy down. Hey, guys. <laughs> Look what I did! He's walking away. He's turned a blind eye. The, the police do not care. You can drag bodies in front of them and... <laughs> seriously? Busted. Taxi drivers will take you straight inside of the prison. I'm in. No way! <laughs> they actually do! <laughs> this works? I can just end up in the prison? Wow. Oh my... I got four stars. All right, bro, bro. You gotta get me back in there, man. This is terrible. jeez. <laughs> oh, no, give me your car. Give me your car. Give me your car. Oh my days. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm in the prison. I didn't think they would actually do it, but they did. Do. This is the only way you can sneak into the prison. I've done it a few times, but I have no idea if you get caught or not. You just go up this ladder and then just jump on this, and you're basically on top of the building. And then if you just jump on this building, oh no, no, they've seen me, they've seen me, come on! Well, I'm in the prison, but I have been caught, and the police are coming to arrest me. If you grab a military vehicle from outside of the base, you get four stars instead of three. Oh, I only got two. All right, beautiful. You don't get the whole military after you. If you stand outside the military base and just look at this guard, he will shoot you. I don't believe he's gonna shoot me. Why would he shoot me? I'm literally outside the base. This is actually kind of nervous. I feel like he might shoot me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, the guard isn't shooting me. That's, uh, myth busted. <laughs> Yes, I get to leave alive. That was so scary, dude. I thought he was gonna get me. There is a dumpster in this location, and if you bump into the dumpster, it duplicates. Oh my days, it does. <laughs> Why does this duplicate? That doesn't make sense. And this one is like so much worse quality than the other one. Like, what is this, dude? You can make these trucks jump up and down if you just jump on the roof. <laughs> It just bounced. That's so cool. And you can also ride on dumpsters. Check it out. <laughs> I'm not falling off. This is beautiful. Two mids. Success. Amazing. Underwater is a sunken UFO. It's over in this location. And there's the UFO. It was actually teased in an artwork photo from Rocks. 
start, you can see it right there crashing through the sky. It's made quite the dent down here. And rumor has it, it makes strange noises. I haven't heard them yet, but it's here. Fuel gauges actually work in GTA 5. As you can see, everything else works, but the fuel is on maximum tank and doesn't seem to go down. But then if you draw the tank out and then jump back inside, what's gonna happen to that fuel gauge? Oh my days, it's actually going down. Are you seeing this thing? Guys, it's actually going down to empty. No way. Oh no, no. Guys, the car's broken down and there's a light which says I'm out of fuel. That's awesome. You can run up the side of these ramps at the airport. What? I was literally running on thin air. You reckon I can get to the top? All right, here goes nothing. Run on thin air, Franklin. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just ran to the top of that thing. That's such a weird myth. You can hijack a taxi and still go somewhere. No way. I just threw a pilot out. That's so crazy. Well, here's the next one then. Do you reckon a taxi driver would drop me off in the military base? I mean, he dropped me off in the prison, so I honestly don't know anymore. All right, here goes nothing. Will he take me to the military base? Like, right in the center? Oh, man. Okay, that one's busted. They won't take you to the military base, but you can hijack a taxi and choose wherever you want to go to. That's awesome. Whatever vehicle you park in your garage, if you explore explode it and then change characters, it will be good as new when you come back. So I've just exploded the vehicle. Let's just switch to Michael. <laughs> There is no way it's gonna be good as new. It's there. Wow, this works. <laughs> what? Why? You can open the back of a cargo bomb. I'm gonna try it out with one of these first. Let's just start whacking. Oh my days, dude, it is opening. What? No way. It just came down. You can open the back of a cargo bomb. What? <laughs> can I walk inside? I can go inside. That's amazing. <laughs> this is an awesome myth. Now the cargo bomb's open and I can get inside. We can take anything we want in there. I'm gonna ride my B. All right, doesn't matter. I can't take the BMX in. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> what is stopping me, dude? It won't go in. Seriously? All right, guys, don't try and get a BMX and a cargo bob. It's not going to work. Franklin doesn't have a toilet. I really don't want to believe this, but there must be a reason why there's a bath in his bedroom. This is supposedly where his toilet is. I'm just going to use my mods to go through. Wow, there is literally nothing at the other side. <laughs> Franklin has no toilet. What about the other doors? Like this one. All right, nothing there. And then the other one, is there a toilet in here? He has no toilet. Dude, I don't know where Franklin pees or anything, but there's literally no toilet in his house. Where do you go, Franklin? If you touch people sitting down, they immediately die. Like this lady over here, she, she, she's dead. She's dead. She, she, the, the bagel's done. <laughs> I don't get this. Why do they die? That doesn't make any sense. I gotta find someone else. All right, there's this person over here. Let's just bump into him. Bam. <laughs> oh my days. That's amazing, dude. Oh, free bagel. Thank you very much. You can shoot your own foot. Let's see. All right, just shoot at the ground. Oh my days. I'm actually shooting my foot. No way. I'm not doing any damage though. So we're not dying, but I can still shoot my foot. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't think you could do that. There is a bar and inside looks terrifying. It looks pretty normal from like first glance, but if you start taking a look around here, you'll see there's like handprints left from people who clearly were not okay. And the handprints go further behind the bar. It gets pretty crazy. Like, look at this, guys. There's one just down here next to the chopping board as if they were trying to get a knife. There is an Easter egg in GTA 5, which is so cryptic. It took us years to find out. It is this, a line of numbers on its own concrete block on the side of the highway. And if you convert each number, number into where they are in the alphabet. So one is A, 25 is Y, and then 8, 24, etc, etc. Then it comes up with the first letter of every single word in the sentence. All you had to do was follow the damn train CJ, which is a really popular reference from GTA San Andreas. There are secret garages in this world which you can use. One of them is over here at Vinewood, and another one is near Lester's house. It's this one. See? It's awesome. You would never expect a thing. <laughs> I think I'll leave my ride in here. It's a great place to store cars on the go, and there's so many other garages around the world. Go and explore. Have fun. Jimmy knows who Nico Bellic is. <laughs> Let's see if he actually does. All right, he's on his laptop. <gasps> no way he does. That's his Life Invader page. And he's posting from Liberty City. That's awesome. You can duplicate this port slew by shooting it. Okay, hang on a second. Is there another port slew in there? Look at that. There's another port <laughs> There's another port loop. There is a secret floor in the construction building. If you jump right here and then land at the bottom, you can go straight inside. It's a pretty cool place. You can see around the ladder and you can also shoot out onto other people. And because you're in a secret location, no one can get to you. <laughs> Check this out. I can actually shoot people, dude. Oh, this is awesome. I love this location. There is a photo of CJ in Lester's house. It's on this book. And that photo right there is CJ standing on Grove Street, the original one in GTA San Andreas. There is a Mario reference in Franklin's old garden. There is a red mushroom and a green mushroom for Mario and Luigi. It, it's pretty cool. <laughs> and Denise is uh, not happy with me. All right, let's go on to the next myth. There are giant cockroaches in GTA 5. You can find them in alleyways and places like this. But apparently over here, they can 
fly. Let's see. Is this guy gonna fly? Oh my days. They fly? But since when? <laughs> what? I don't understand how they can fly. They're just cockroaches. But not to worry. If you shoot the cockroaches, you can actually kill them. So let's find one. <laughs> oh, I just missed him. I just missed him. Oh, my days. Oh, he's fast. That was so cheesy. He's so fast. I don't think you can kill them. Guys, I just... I. What? Hang on a second. You can't kill them. Oh my days, you can't kill the cockroaches. There are umbrellas on the Vespucci Beach Pier. And if you just stand on one of them and then use a flare gun, apparently it will send you... <laughs> Send you really high in the sky. I don't understand why this works. If you throw a snowball at a clothes store, they will close down and call the cops on you. No way. I got one stuck. Can I go inside at least? I got one stuck. All right, I'm in. Oh, they're closed. No way. I just threw a snowball at the door. That's all I did. If you throw a snowball at a hairdresser's, they will do the same. Let's find out. All right, it's open. I can get a haircut. Afternoon, ma'am. I'm going to throw it at the window. I just got another one star. Oh my days. I just got one star. She's literally cowering for her life. What are you doing? You know what, ma'am? You can have a snowball. There you go. <laughs> if you throw a snowball at the movie theater, they're going to close down and call the police on you. Let's see. All right. Now, no, no police. No wanted level. Can I get a ticket now? Let's see. I can. Amazing. Well, the cinema know what's up. They're still going to give me tickets. Thanks, cinema. Supermarkets will also close down and call the police on you if you throw a snowball at their store. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. This guy's a legend. He's not calling the police on me. Uh-oh. I did just smash his window, though. <laughs> oh, no. I can still go in. He didn't call the police. Where's he gone? Where is he? There was a guy in here. I saw him. Where is he gone? Oh, no. He's around the back. No. All right. He has closed the store. So, kind of busted. Kind of success. I don't know. I don't know what this one. This is strange. On the flags of this museum is the GTA 4 map. Are they actually telling the truth? Oh, my days. They are. This is part of the GTA 4 map. And it literally says Liberty City Tales. I had no idea. That's awesome. Michael will actually pick up if you call him before you even met. No, go away, Simeon. I don't want to speak to you. I'm at the earliest point in GTA 5, by the way. Like, I haven't unlocked anyone, and I can't wait to see what happens. I don't even have Michael's number in my phone. Okay, here goes nothing. Uh, oh, 08. All right, let's give him a call. Busy? No! No! I thought you could! Oh, come on! Well, Michael isn't gonna pick up right now. Let's try someone else, though. What about Trevor? Dialing? Oh, no. He's busy, too. Neither of them are gonna answer. All right, what if we call someone one who isn't part of the main story. Let's do Amanda DeSanta. She still has no idea who I am. Ah. Oh. That's so annoying. They won't answer the phone, but you can still call them. Let's do one more person. Lester Crest. He definitely will pick up. Dialing. I haven't even met this guy yet, but I'm phoning his number. Hey, it's Lester. I don't listen to my answering machines as well. Wow, no one's gonna pick up. That's so annoying. If you go to Michael's house before you even met him, everyone knows who Franklin is. Hello, Mrs. DeSanta. Hey, Franklin. See, how does she know my name? <laughs> That's so weird. Surfboards will float if they go in the water. I mean, technically they should. They're surfboards after all. <laughs> Are they gonna float? Oh, wait, hang on a second. I think it is. I think it's gonna float. No way. It keeps getting washed up. All right, what if I just do this? Oh, no, no, no. Hang on a second. I think it's sinking. What? Dude, that's the worst surfboard in the world. <laughs> it just sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Are you kidding me? I've been told rubber rings float. Oh, jeez. All right, maybe not like that. All right, let's go and find another ring. Well, it looks like we have to move this thing. All right, let's find out if this thing will float. If this doesn't float, I don't want even know what to say. Okay, here we go. We're coming up to the water. Is this thing gonna float? Please don't let me down. Oh, my days. It's floating. It's floating. That works. <laughs> this is so cool. If you stand on the rubber rings, they will sink to the bottom of the ocean. Let's find out. All right, Franklin, stand on top. All right, I'm on it. And it's it's not sinking. Amazing. Wow. Whoa. They don't sink. There is a totally demolished cargo boat at the bottom of the ocean. This is awesome. There's so many containers here. I wonder if there's any loot. Hey, guys, you'll have to check this out yourself. Let me know if you find something. Wait a second. The boat's split in half. The whole thing. What? I can go inside? Now, this is awesome. There's a hole at the decking area, and you can swim underneath it. Wow. All right, this is awesome. If you're interested in exploring places, go here. You can flip a tank with a ramp car. Can we actually do this? I've never tried. Oh, no way you can. I just went straight under it. Let's see if we can flip this thing. What if I go around the side? Is that going to work? Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. Ramp cars can't flip other ramp cars. I don't believe this works, but let's just find out. What's going to happen if I go into... Oh my days, dude. I don't go up it and I don't even flip it. We just go nail on. If I can't flip it from behind, I'm going to be gobsmacked. Seriously? Oh my days. I can't even do that. But check this out, guys. You see this really heavy vehicle over here? I bet you I can flip this. 
See, what did I say? That's so strange. The fastest car in GTA 5 can jump 50 different vehicles. This is the Ocelot Pariah, and it can go at like 218 kilometers an hour. I don't know if this will jump 50 cars, though. That's quite a lot. Here we go. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be. Oh, <laughs> that was so close. I'm trying this one more time. Keep it steady. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can we do this? Can we do this? Can we, can we, can we? Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, easy peasy. We did it. Yes. <laughs> it works. No way. You can't kill the birds in the sky. I'm gonna try this out. I got a minigun and we're just gonna start shooting. Oh my days, you can. You can shoot the birds. If you shoot bin bags, rubbish will actually come out. Whoa, <laughs> that's insane. Look at this, so much rubbish. Wow, there is a floating light in GTA 5 and it actually is there. <laughs> Who put this thing there? If you shoot this, then will it? I just destroyed the light, seriously? Okay, let's use my mods and check this out. That is, that is floating. That's just a random light. Rockstar, why is this here? That's so strange.